If you're into fun and you love to play. If you like funny jokes, they put you away. If you like to dance to a slamming sound and you like having lots of friends around. And if you're one of those kids who lives by the rule that sad is bad and happy is cool. Ooh, little buddy, you're about to see you're in the very best place that you could be. Your bottom in your chair, bounce it here, bounce it there, and with tender loving care, bounce it, bounce it everywhere. Bounce it fast, bounce it slow, bounce it high, bounce it low. <laughs> Sing while you bounce along. One more chorus of a song. Lamb chops play along with kids. Come Especially you. Now I'm going to show Ramon the betcha that is the oldest betcha in the world. But if you don't know something, then it's brand new, right? Right. Right, okay. Here's the betcha, and you can pull it on your friends. You say, I have here water in a glass. I am going to cover this glass with a baseball cap. There, I've done it, Ramon. And without my touching that cap, I'm going to make that water disappear. Would you like to see me do that? Yeah. I'd like to see me do that. Okay, here we go. I'm not going to touch the cap, and the water's going to disappear. Rammy, zammy, ishka, bibble. And the water is gone. Take a look. You little trickster. <laughs> I'm a little trickster, and you can be a little trickster, too. Remember... I said I wasn't going to touch the cap, and he touched it. And so I win the bet. And you don't just have to do it with that cap. Any baseball cap will do that one, or that one, or that one. Have fun. Give me a knock-knock joke. Don't knock a knock-knock joke. They're always dumb. So tell me how come. After one, the laugh will bubble up. After four, I always double up. Don't be an old slowpoke. Give me a knock-knock joke, please. Knock-knock. Who's there? Annie. Annie who? Anybody home. <laughs> you get it? Anybody home? Anybody home? You see, it's a play on the word. Ah, oh, forget it. I love the knock-knock joke. Lamb chop? I... W oh. What? You're playing dress-up. No, I'm playing grown-up. Grown-up? You look very grown-up. Yes, I do, don't I? <sighs> very nice. Thank you. Hmm. What do you mean, hmm? Huh? What's the matter? Well, I just wish that I was really grown-up. Why? Because if I was really grown up, I could do whatever I wanted to do and nobody could boss me around and I could stay up as late as I wanted and... Lamb chop, lamb chop, do you know what? No, what? It's very nice to be grown up. Yeah, I know. However, I loved being little. How little? Very little. A baby? Yes. Well, what did, what did you like so much about being a baby? When I was a baby, what I loved was the fact that Everything was new. Everything I did, I was doing for the first time. Oh, tell me what it was like when you were a baby. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Oh, oh it's you. Hello. Who are you? Oh, no, don't tell me. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. You're a stranger. Not supposed to. No, no way. Talk to strangers. And I never talk to strangers because... I'm shy. <laughs> yeah, really. I'm shy. You could tell I'm lying. <laughs> bad, savvy, bad, savvy. Mustn't lie. The reason I was lying, please excuse me. The reason I was lying is because I'm so excited today. I just 
learn how to walk. Yay! You could walk. Well, I just learned you do it with your feet. Yeah. Come on, feet, walk. Oh, 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 Yay! That's walking. Yes, that's walking. I also learned how to hop. There's two parts. There's a ha and a pa. Hopper, 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 hopper. No, that's not it. You do it on one foot, though, you hop on one foot. Ooch, 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 ooch. That's hopping, yay! Oh, yes, there was something else I learned. What was the other thing I learned? I remember. I learned how to jump. Two feet, you jump. Ooch, 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 ooch. Isn't that good? Yay! Yes, it's, it's very nice to learn new stuff like that. Sometimes, of course, when I jump, I fall down. Yes, I fall down. That's when I really fall down, down, down. <laughs> you know what else I learned? I learned something else. To, oh, yes, I learned that I like it the best thing of all the things. Of all the things, the thing that I like the best is when people tickle me. I love it. They, you know, they go, tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> So I've learned how to tickle myself. You want to see me? You could learn, you could do this. You anybody could do this. I'm going to tickle myself. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Ah! Tickle, tickle, tickle. Ah! Tickle, tickle. Ah! Oh, goody, alpha tunes. This is the letter A. The A starts the alphabet. Now what comes next? Oh, here come the bees! <sighs> if ever you start feeling blue Cause things are going wrong The very best thing you can do Is sing a little sing-along song Friends will start to join ya And before too very long You'll know why it's a real good thing To sing a little sing-along song Your hands get clappier when you sing a sing along, sing along song. Clap your hands and skip to my loop. Clap your hands and skip to my loop. Clap your hands and skip to my loop. Skip to my loop, my darling. One step forward, one and two. One step backward, one and two. Come on forward, one and two. Skip to my loop, my darling. Walk in a circle, round you go. Walk in a circle, round you go. Walk in a circle, round you go. Skip to my loop, my darling. Hop to the side, hop and hop, hop to the other side, hop and hop, hop in place, hop and hop, hop to my loop, my darling. Clap your hands, one and a two, clap your hands, one and a two, that's because we are through with skip to my loop, my darling. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! Sisters or brothers? 
Nope, I'm an only bus. Boy, are you lucky. Oh, I don't know. Being only can be lonely. What do you mean? Well, uh, there's no one to share a garage with, no one to play bumper cars with, and no one to race with. <laughs> I wish my parents had adopted another bus, well, even a van, anything. Yeah, but, but you never had anyone who was mean to you or bust you around like my brother here. <laughs> Are you kidding? My cousin Larry, the tow truck? He was always pushing me around. Yeah, but isn't that what tow trucks are supposed to do? Oh. Push you around? Only if you're stuck. Oh, I bet you were glad to get away from him, huh? Well, actually, I, I kind of miss him. You're kidding. <laughs> nope. Even though he was a nerd, he was family. Yeah, well, maybe you're right. Maybe I like Charlie Horst more than I think I do. Hiya, broccoli breath. Maybe not. Sally? Yes, Lamb Chop. Would you please tell me the story of the Pie-Eyed Piper? Pie-Eyed Piper? She means the Pied Piper. Yeah, I know that story. Oh, then don't tell it. Oh, okay. Would you tell me the story about that jerk in the haystack? Jerk in the haystack? She means Jack and the Beanstalk. Yeah. Jerk in the haystack? Lamb chop, where are your brains? What's the matter? You this place your own? Hey, 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 hey. Now, you two, go sit on the sofa with Hush Puppy. Go. And go! And I will tell you the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. And you guys listen to the story. And you try to figure out what the point, what the moral of this story is. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 okay, 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 okay. long ago. A very poor boy named Jack lived with his mother in a shack. Poor Jack. Once they had owned a goose who laid golden eggs, but a giant had stolen the goose who laid the golden eggs. Since then their luck had turned sour, they grew poorer by the hour. Jack's mother said, there's nothing to do but sell our only cow. So she said, why don't you take her to market now? On the way to market, Jack met a man who said, I'd like to buy that cow if I can. I'll take good care of your cow, yes sir, and I'll give you some magic beans for her. So Jack, who wasn't a very good businessman, took them. Oh. Oh. Now, when his mother saw what Jack had brought home, she was really upset. And she said, Oh, Jack, what have you done? You're gonna be the death of me yet. You're a very silly dilly. You're a nutmeg. You're a goose. You're a bounder. You're a rounder. In your head, a screw is loose. You're daffy as a loon. You're a simple little dunce. I'd like to see you do a thing right just once. You're obviously more like your father than me. And with that, she threw the beans out of the window. And the two of them went sadly up to bed. But in the morning, where the beans had been thrown, a beanstalk had grown instead. Jack ran into his mother's room, shook her awake, and he said, There's a beanstalk out in back. And this yours, my name is Jack. The top is growing right up through the sky. There's a beanstalk out in back. And this yours, my name is Jack. I am gonna climb that beanstalk, or at least I'm gonna try. He's gonna, gonna climb that beanstalk to the sky. His mother was frightened, and she said, Up there, a giant has built his castle in the air. This giant has stolen our goose who laid the golden eggs. So, Jack, you had better beware. But Jack was not to be held back. He climbed up, up, 
Pop the beanstalk, and he didn't stop until he passed the stars, and he passed the moon, and at last he arrived at the top. And there, right before his eyes, was the castle of the terrible giant. Jack sneaked up to the window, and he saw the goose that laid the golden eggs sitting right beside the giant. That goose was almost between his legs. So Jack just waited while the giant ate. And he ate, and he ate, and he ate, and he ate, and then he ate some more. He ate six cows, 50 pigs, chickens by the score. Oh, no! But at last, from all that eating, the giant fell asleep. Quick as a flash, Jack grabbed the goose. Whack, 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 went the goose as Jack ran. Quack, whack, waking up the sleeping giant, who, seeing that his marvelous goose was gone, really became defiant. A quickly sprang through the window, just as Jack was almost out of sight. When the goose tucked firmly underneath his arm, he ran with all his might. Right? The giant followed swiftly after, and Jack expected the worst. But he had a head start, and what do you know? He got to the beanstalk first. So what happened, Jack? Down, down, down went Jack with a giant right after him. But Jack was too fast, and after reaching the bottom, he took an axe, and he chopped down the beanstalk. Down, down, down tumbled the giant. He hit the ground and he kept right on going and he was never heard from again. Yay! So Jack had the goose with the golden eggs and more than he could ever spend. And that's the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. A story with a happy ending. All right, you guys. Now, did you figure out together what is the point, what is the moral of the story of Jack and the Beanstalk? Me, 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 me. I know what the point is. Let me tell, please, let me. Land shop. Please. Thanks, Charles. I thought you were going to let me make a fool of myself. Now. The point of the story of Jack and the Beanstalk has something to do with this guy named Jack, right? Right, I'm right. We are right, we, we, we. We're doing this together, remember? Okay, we, we, we. Now, it also has something to do with um, that Beanstalk that grew up to the sky. That's right. Yeah, I'm on the right track. We are on the right track. We, 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 we. Yeah, we, 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 we. All right. And uh, I think, no, I am sure. We are sure. We doing this together. Yeah, we're sure that the point of the story of Jack and the Beanstalk is if you wake up in the morning and a beanstalk has grown in your backyard. Yes? Move. Move? No, Charlie. Oh, we're wrong. We? Where do you get this we stuff? You made the mistake. You're wrong again. All right, I give up. What? I give up. What do you mean? I, I don't know what the point of the story of Jack and the Beanstalk is. Oh, come on, guys. Don't give up so easily. Do you give up? They give up. Oh. So what is it? What is what? What's the point of the story of Jack and the Beanstalk? Tell you the truth. I don't know. You what? I don't know. I never did see a point to that story. <laughs> and now for something uh, unusual. Did I ever show you my wind-up hand? <gasps> no? Oh. In one breath, can you think of seven things that you wear on your feet that all begin with the letter S? Can you think of one thing you wear on your feet that begins with S? Good. Can you think of seven? Can you name them in one breath? 
Shall I give you a hint? Here they are. <gasps> Shoes, slippers, sneakers, sandals, socks, skates, and stockings. <gasps> That's seven things that begin with the letter S that you wear on your feet. And of course, there's also skis and snowshoes. And if you can think of any other things that you wear on your feet that go with the letter S, why just suck them to me. Riddles are great fun, you know. We got a million also. But look at the time now. It's late, so I'm afraid they'll have to wait till next time. Read it, read it. But you know this. Read it, read it, please. Please, okay. Little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. Where's the little boy who minds the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. Yeah, and I'm going to say the second stanza. Second stanza? Yeah. Little boy blue, come blow your nose. Come blow your nose? Yeah, that's how the second stanza goes. Little boy blue, come blow your nose. If you don't blow your nose, how do you suppose I can understand one single word as you say? I don't need to blow my nose. No, no, not today. Please, blow your nose, or at least try a sneeze. It's harder to understand you than Chinese. Oh, little boy blue, please, please, blow your nose. Blow it now. Blow it quickly before that thing grows. Blow it loud. Blow it soft. Don't be stubborn or cranky. Blow it hard as you can. You can borrow my hanky. If you don't blow your nose, then what are we to do? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, little boy blue. If ever you're at that and you can't hear yourself begin to choke, Okay, I got this joke from a girl in Washington, D.C. You like it? Y yeah, I like it. Um, where do generals keep their armies? Uh, uh, where do generals keep their armies? Up their sleeveys. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> it's a funny, funny, funny. <laughs> Have you ever seen a beanstalk? Have you ever been a beanstalk? Well, you can make a beanstalk, and it won't cost you beans. Ah. All you need is yesterday's newspaper, or today's newspaper, if everybody has read it. Don't get me in trouble by using today's newspaper until everybody says they've read it. Okay, here's how you make a beanstalk. You take a sheet of newspaper and you open it up. That's not a beanstalk. Then starting at one end, you roll. You just roll and roll and roll and roll and roll and roll. And roll and roll and roll and roll and roll and roll. Till you get about, oh, that far. Then you take another sheet of newspaper and you open it up and you lay it right into, into the roll. And you continue to roll and roll and roll and roll and roll and roll and pull it towards you and roll and roll and pull it towards you and roll and roll and keep tapping on the end to make it all even. You can add a couple of newspapers. I'm only going to do two. Then you flatten out one end and you rip. It's really easy to tear paper. There you go. And you rip about that much, and then you flatten it out the other way. Do you see? And you rip, once again, so that you're making four kind of leaves. Well, that's what they really are, isn't it? And now you open up the hole. Open it up by folding all the pieces back until you can see the hole. See the hole? There it is. Now, you're going to stick your finger into that hole and pull up and up and up and up and up. And up, and up. And if you had used three pieces of newspaper, it would have gone even higher up. And when anybody says to you, did you climb that beanstalk? You can say, I have been. It may be cause they're older and they look so big and tall. Children think that grown-ups can do anything at all. Yeah. And if you're a kid and think that's absolutely true, you like a list of things that this here grown-up honestly can't do? What can't you do? I can't whistle. Yeah? Let me hear you whistle. Hey, in
if you can or cannot doesn't mean an awful lot. No one does everything, everything, everything. When I snap my fingers, I can hardly hear it. <laughs> Me too. When you snap, what's the sound? Is it weak? Don't get down. No. Jumping out of bed, I'll try lots of stuff in the day ahead. And where I excel, I will shout hooray. hooray! Where I don't do well, I'll just say okay. Hey, you can't do everything. What do you think you are, a super kid? Can you blow a bottle? Like me, no can do. Be like me, take the view. No one does everything, everything, everything. But all that really matters is you try, try, try. Yeah, try. This is the song that does it. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing it forever just because this is the song that does it. This is the song that... Charlie, horse! No, no, stop, stop, stop. Charlie, stop. I want you to go away. Go away. And don't slam the... Door. Funding for this program was provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you. This is PBS.